everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. I am sat here at my desk on Monday morning with my little chia seed Greek yogurt pudding thing and going through my emails this morning. I'm going through my personal emails before I tackle my work emails, but I'm just looking through and confirming some details for a little surprise I have for my mum later in the week for her 58th birthday. My brother and I planned and booked a little surprise staycation at the Langham Hotel. It'll be for me and my mum because he's um, overseas, but we're basically going to go to the Langham Hotel in Sydney and celebrate her birthday. I've also booked in a surprise 90 minute massage at the spa and a high tea um, for the two of us. I am gonna have my yogurt, go for my emails and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I feel like I was looking very tired and disheveled in my last clip. I mean, it is Monday morning, but I put on a little bit of makeup. I think getting dressed also helps. I have on this little cardigan from Cezanne. And then we just got my cream trousers on, nothing too fancy. I've been wearing these all the time lately. How do I, should I tuck it in? Maybe I'll tuck it in. Like a little, little front tuck. I'm taking my lunch break now and I'm just gonna pop into our local grocery shop and pick up a few ingredients for dinner tonight and dinner on Wednesday night. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna be having dinner out, but for these two nights, I wanna pick up some ingredients. I'm going to make a pumpkin soup and just salmon tonight. And on Wednesday, I'm going to do a buttered chicken, which I've never made before, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. And I'm also just gonna go post office, um, send a couple of things, but let's go. I found the cutest little plant for my grandma and it's so pretty and it's very colorful. Let me show you the name. This is the type of plant it is. It's called an, I think it's called an amphurium, but just so, so pretty. It's a very little plant, but I think um, her space isn't huge. So this would be great. I've changed back into loungewear because I am about to start making dinner. Um, so we're going to do the pumpkin soup and salmon. I am a terrible cook, so I will not be showing it step by step because no one needs, no one would get any benefit from that. Um, but I'll show you the finished result. Now the next day, I am filming a video this morning and I am refilming a summer 10x10 challenge that I filmed last week. I was actually meant to upload it today but I looked through the footage last night and well yesterday morning and I didn't love it. Um, yeah, I didn't love it so I'm going to film it again today. Usually a video will take me about 3 to like 7 hours to film. This one will probably be more around 4 like four-ish um so yeah i'm gonna refilm it this morning one of the things that takes a while before i film is that i like to rearrange my room so i have enough space otherwise you can't get like a full body shot of the outfit unless i kind of clean everything and go from like corner to corner so that's what i'm doing right now and um i probably won't have too much to update you guys on i booked myself this morning into a spin class with my boyfriend we found a deal on groupon where you get like five spin classes each and I only paid about $40 for it. So that comes out to like $4 a class. Pretty thrilled and I'm really excited to try this like Peloton spin thing um, at, the, at the place. I've been seeing a lot of these Peloton bikes and I'm super excited to give it a shot. And it's like a cute little studio, not too far from my place. Well, it's like 25 minutes, but not, not terribly far. It is 5.40 in the evening and I've just got, I'm just getting ready now to go to that spin class I was talking about. Um, I'm wearing this little girlfriend set. I mean, I finally get a chance to wear these bike shorts. 
and I'm just wearing this long sleeve because it is super cold. What I really want to wear are my sweatpants, but I just want to just put this outfit on because I'm also going to go out to dinner afterwards and it's a casual dinner, but I just don't think this is an outfit I can wear out. It looks terrible, but it is so comfy. Okay, no, I don't think I can go out like this um, to dinner. I'm going to try and find something a bit cuter. Finished the spin class and I am so incredibly tired. It was very very hard, especially for someone who hasn't exercised in like two years. But hoping it gets easier. This morning I left the house around 7 o'clock and I went to the city to shoot this particular outfit just take some photos and get a few little clips for my Summer 10x10 video which you will definitely have seen by the time this vlog goes up So we did the spin class, my boyfriend and I did spin class last night and it was so hard About 10 minutes into the class I was thinking to myself, I don't think I'm gonna make it I don't think it was hard in terms of strength, like the actual like um, resistance was okay and that wasn't the issue. I think it was just the endurance and the cardio side of things that I was really struggling with at the end. It was also really uncomfortable sitting on the seat. I don't know if other people have this issue with just me. I have four more classes, so I'll be back next week and we'll, we'll see if it gets any easier. Fingers crossed that it does. But I'm gonna have lunch now and I'll speak to you guys a bit later. Hi everyone, so we just checked into the Langham Hotel, um, so lovely, and it's my mom's birthday today so we're here celebrating and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a room tour because it is very very pretty. The weather is a bit grim today, but other than that, very much looking forward to this day. I love how spacious this room is, it is absolutely huge. Um, TV, my cute little suitcase, and I've got a little terrace space here. Which is so lovely. It's got like French doors. I wish it was sunny, but uh, whatever. Still loving it. Ah, there we go. I have high hopes that it will clear up tomorrow morning though. So, all is good. Might leave these ones open. So, because I used to work at hotels and marketing, I did um, quickly say hi to the team. And I think that they wanted to quickly meet me. So, I'm going to head downstairs now. Um, because it's also time for high tea. I'm a hair in a bun because I curled it this morning and I'm hoping after the rain it's still okay. I just didn't want to have wet hair and look like a total mess at high tea because it's a little bit fancy and didn't want to get ready for it. My best friend has been here before and she loved it so I have very very high hopes for it. This little outfit of the day, just wearing that um, Lulu Studio sweater that I wear pretty much every day now it seems. Um, and I have a little skirt, which is actually a dress from Kukai. And a little Celine bag and some sock boots. gotten so many sweet treats um, today just because I think they knew it was a birthday but it's been it's been really lovely my mom's currently at the 90 minute massage I booked for her but I am just sitting down here and doing a little bit of work the weather today has been so miserable but I have high hopes that it will clear up tomorrow and I can shoot some of the content I was planning and another thing we want to do tonight is go find some noodles to have for dinner because I think in Chinese culture um, having noodles on your birthday is important because they're like longevity noodles um, because you know obviously the long unbroken strand so we're gonna also do that and it'll be really really casual because both of us are quite full from a very big lunch I'm getting ready to do some ironing and just organizing a couple of outfits that if the weather is good tomorrow, I might be able to shoot. 
hopefully these will be like little cutaways for my next video. The hotel's so pretty and I just... When I say something pretty, I just want to shoot content. And um, yeah, fingers crossed. This is a dress I purchased from the City Maya and it's from Ghost London. I got it for less than half price, so I'm kind of excited to wear this for a little, little outfit shot. Obviously it's not just for the outfit shot, but I am excited to kind of share this with you guys. Ghost London do a lot of dresses, but I think for this one you can't really purchase it anymore because it is old stock, which is why I got on sale. But I'm sure they do very similar options. I forgot how satisfying ironing is. I obviously stain my clothes all the time and I don't do much ironing anymore. But yeah, it's really satisfying. Random story, because I'm at a hotel right now and ironing reminds me when I used to work in marketing and we used to iron the bed for photo shoots. So I used to be in charge of doing the photo shoots at my old hotels and before the shoot I would come in with my iron and iron the bed to make sure it would be very crisp for the photo. Little insider thing where if you don't know, you don't know but it's one of the things that goes on behind the scenes. I've just moved the camera so a bit closer. We have had the most lovely morning at the hotel um, during high tea and just like ch at check-in everyone was super super nice and lovely which is which is important to me because what we used to do a lot is do like little like surprise things for the guests and it's always like nice to be on the receiving end of it as well Came back from the spa to this little, this little um, gift bag. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay. Came from the jacuzzi, had a shower, and feeling very lovely. And I brought some of my extra skincare bits today to do like a full evening skincare routine. Got some Foreo bits today, which I wanted to use. First up, I'm going to use my Aesop cleanser. This is the purifying facial cream cleanser. And I'm just going to put it onto the Luna tool. I have the one for sensitive skin, just because I wanted something that was more on the gentle side. This is my second cleanse this evening, so skin is feeling very clean. And now I'm just going to put on a little bit of toner. I'm still using the Indie Lay toner. Because it's a winter time, my skin's been feeling a bit dehydrated. I would say my skin's only combination, but it also leans on the dehydrated side. With the Foreo UFO, I've got four different treatments I can use. I've got one that's hydrating um, with hyaluronic acid. I've got one with coconut oil. One with ginseng and olive oil, as well as a youth junkie one. I might do this one actually. I'm going to do the coconut oil one because I haven't done this one before. There's quite a lot of essence in these sachets, but basically you just want to take the little cotton pad soaked with essence out and then you put it onto the UFO device and then you just put this loop back in. So then what I do is that I go onto the app and I basically just choose which treatment I'm doing. So today I'm doing the coconut oil one. red LED and a gentle warmth. Prepare your skin to receive the full benefits of treatment. At the same time, red LED works to revitalize skin's appearance. I think what the UFO2 is really good at is amplifying the effects of the serum that you use. So whichever kind of um, treatment that you decide to use, I think that having this LED light treatment just amplifies the skincare benefits of 
the essence so that's one of the reasons why I really like it so for example tonight my skin was really dry and I used the coconut oil treatment and I do feel that my skin feels a lot more hydrated than if I was just to slap that serum on my face out of these two products, I like the Luna. I like the sensitive version. It's quite gentle on my skin and it does a great job at cleansing. But this is the product that I find really special and very unique to my routine. I'm going to pass this over for my mom to use now. I think her favorite one is this Call It A Night one that she used the last time and enjoyed it. So I might give this one to her again. I've just used this Aesop Blue Chamomile Mask. And I think you have the option of either leaving it on for 30 minutes and then wiping off the excess or you can just leave it on overnight and that's what I usually like to do. I don't really like to wipe it off. I don't see the point. I just leave it on overnight. We are heading down for breakfast this morning and it is 7.15. The weather's looking so lovely now, so I am going to shoot all the content that I had planned for yesterday. But I'm just going to quickly show you because it's a beautiful day and it is like a nice view from the room actually. I actually changed my outfit into something that's a bit more comfortable and casual for today and we are just about to check out now. Couldn't fit myself in my luggage so created an extra bag. Hi everyone, it is very early, 7.04 to be specific. And I am heading to the flower market to pick up some, well, some flowers. It's something that I've been meaning to do for years, but just never got around to it. I didn't vlog too much last night because I spent most of the night just catching up on some work. But this I want to definitely share with you guys. Got my flowers and going to head home. Got a bunch for myself and mum, as well as uh, my grandma. So, gonna bring the plant that I purchased earlier this week, as well as the flowers, to my grandma. It was really nice. I've never been to the markets for flowers, so definitely don't think we paid like the lowest price we could, but it was fun. Here is my little arrangement. I just watched a little YouTube video to get some ideas. I've just taken it outdoor so I can show you a bit better. But this is what it looks like. So here is the little arrangement and we're just gonna pop it in a vase. I just created a little arrangement for my neighbor here. So we're gonna go and give this to her. Just some, just some pink flowers. These were so affordable. These were only around $2 a bunch. And then we just put in some of the um, Blue Baby's Breath to make it a little bit cuter. This is a little arrangement for my grandma. I don't know what these flowers are called. Honestly, I know very little about flowers. Um, but, you know, these orange ones and then the Blue Baby's Breath. I thought these two colors would go nicely. So we're going to bring this over to her in a bit. 
That was the ultra fun morning at the flower market. I can definitely see myself making this a bit more of a routine and trying to go maybe fortnightly or even monthly because it was just really lovely. Anyways, I'm gonna finish the vlog off here and start editing. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye.